In this video, I'll show you how to overcome some common guiding problems with the ASI Air Plus. Later in the video, I'll show you some 10 minute subs and see what kind of results I got. Take a look at this chart here and you can see the uh, right ascension just flying off the chart and our total error getting as high as 17 seconds and counting. In fact, it just keeps going higher and higher without control. And this happened multiple times for me last night and I thought I had everything correct and I was wondering what I had done to make this work this way. Well anyway, I had just purchased a new camera and on the previous video I had shown uh, an auto guiding sample using the SV Boney guide scope and uh, my planetary camera. And so when I put in this new camera here, this was the result. And it didn't matter how many times I tried it, it kept flying off the screen and simply would not guide. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. When the ASI Air fires up and you start guiding, it has to go through a calibration routine. And so this data is critical in order to get the guiding to work properly. And so when I did my previous video, it worked fine. But what I didn't realize was that when I put in the new camera, it was actually loading the old camera settings and it simply was not compatible. And this was for me was the primary reason why this wouldn't work. And so I'm going to show you how to reset it and redo the calibration. And that should be your first step if you have changed equipment. So to clear the calibration, click on the graph, and this will take you into the guiding menu. And then go in the upper right hand corner with the two bars and a bullseye, and then click that, and then click clear. Now here I've already cleared it because I just powered on this on the next day. But this will clear the calibration and reset this so that you can get your ASI Air guiding working again. Now, if you want to clear that setting every time, go into the Guide Camera setting and come down here to the Auto Restore Calibration and turn it off like I have it here. If you turn it on, it will load the previous calibration and that could potentially save you time, but if something changes, it could also work against you. So that's up to you how you're going to do that setting. All right, I have powered the ASI Air back on. It's nighttime and I'm going to redo this. Now, the first thing you might see here, if you've made a change, we're here looping and you can see you've got blobs. So basically what that means is that you need to go in there and, uh, and change the focus and get that finer tuning. So I will do that right now. So here I've adjusted the focus ring and we've got that nice and tight. And so now we're going to start the calibration process. And you can do that by selecting this bullseye right above the stop sign, and then it will start the calibration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed the video up because this process took me a long time, probably around 12 to 15 minutes. Sometimes it's shorter and sometimes it's longer, but I'll speed it up so you can see the steps, but we don't have to wait very long for the result. All right, that process is finishing up and now it's going to pick a guide star and start guiding. After resetting the calibration data and letting the system run for a while, it's now working properly. Here you can see a spike right at dither and basically that's because it's going to move, reset, and then settle in and then start guiding again. And after it does all that, then I'm getting good oscillations around the midpoint in both right ascension and declination. So with this setting, I was able to take my first 300 second image and it came out pretty sharp. I'm shooting in monochrome, so this is in black and white. And as you can see, the stars are pretty round and there's a nebula just starting to form in the middle of the screen there. But since it's not stacked, it is a bit dim, and I shot this in Sulphur 2. So this is the next night. This is the California Nebula, and this is a stack of 50 minutes of 10-minute subs. 
And so I am very impressed with how well the, it, the guiding worked and how everything came out. And I got a lot of detail from the hydrogen alpha filter here. And so I also took oxygen, and here is an HOO image. And so I'm pretty pleased with it. I want to redo the oxygen and grab some sulfur and see if I can get some finer detail. But as far as preliminary results, I'm pretty pleased with this.